Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final match from Group E. Obviously, we had the walkover, so no losers match. It's going to be a rematch between Sexy and Dreamer. Sexy starting the upper left, or sorry, the 12 o'clock location as the black Protoss, very fetching bottom right in corner. We have Dreamer sitting as the very consistent green Protoss. I think a frustrating match for Dreamer in the previous, but this is on Aztec, if you were unfamiliar with it. Aztec, I'm trying to remember when it was played. In Pro League, I think it was like season, like around 2011, 2012. Might be off on that. I'll have to look up. But you have a natural expansion behind an inverted ramp, and this is really the key feature here. In this, this inverted ramp right here means you really, really, really need to make sure that you defend your natural expansion, because if you lose control of your natural expansion, that means you're going up against a high ground advantage. You're fighting uphill basically, very, very rapidly. <clears throat> Assuming you can hold that, you have your three clock mineral only nearby but a, in a pretty wide defender's ramp to work with and otherwise you have kind of a low ramp leading to a interior third base potentially or third or fourth that does have a gas but you can see where there's like a wide open field where hit and run attacks can really so basically it's kind of another one of those maps where you really need to make sure that you defend your natural expansion immediately after and then pass that map control is absolutely huge to be able to just establish an additional base. And then the middle of the map does have some doodads and whatnot uh, to create some interesting fights, but it's otherwise wide open, which does allow some proxy uh, action to happen and things like that. But point being, point being early game map control. So it's like be aggressive early, hold things off. It looks like we do see a double gateway opener for Sexy. We are seeing a double gateway opener opposite side from Dreamer as well. So it is going to be a mirror match, which suggests that the advantage is going to go to whoever has the better micro. Between these two, seeing what they have to offer, I know that Dreamer's micro is absolutely incredible. That tends to be what that propels him forward in his PvP matches. A little bit of a later scout for Sexy, which means... Or sorry, earlier scout from Sexy, which means that there will be a few more minerals in Dreamer's pocket, which looks like it's resulting in a earlier probe scout, which isn't game ending, but every little bit counts. Both players scouting each other last. Zealot already holding on the ramp on both sides to go ahead and deny information. And I'm wondering if both players are gonna go ahead and try to press out with this. Gas being taken from Dreamer, gas being taken otherwise. So it's kind of like both players opening up mirror builds. Nice denial on this side. I wonder if these zealots, this is the other trick, is Sexy going to go ahead and hold these zealots back? Or is he going to show them? Unfortunately, moving out right now with these three zealots, which is going to allow Dreamer to get a free scout in. He's moving his three zealots forward. He's going to go ahead and hold this lower ramp location now. So this is going to be a big advantage to Dreamer. So he's going to be able to hold this ramp. It looks like actually this is clever. Rev... Sneaking in, he might be able to get a scout underneath this if he gets lucky. He's going ahead and checking out that 6 o'clock momentarily. These zealots walking in, and unfortunately, okay, seeing that was good micro on this part. Spotting, regathering before re-engaging. I'm going to back off from there, but this is the big advantage here on Dreamer's part. He's able to walk in and go ahead and get eyes on what Sexy's up to. So Sexy playing in the dark. Two Dragoons now being produced. No range being upgraded as well. Looks like we have two Dragoons opposite corner is uh, for Dreamer. And the Zelt's coming back to home base. But essentially, Dreamer has just is going to see everything. He's also going to see these two Dragoons plop out. He'll end up losing this Probe Scout in the midst of this. But Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. I don't think this Pylon is just a scout for Sexy at the 6 o'clock location. I do believe he's going to try to launch some sort of proxy tech right here. And I think something that might give it away here. We'll see. We'll see if this is just for scouting or, or not. I have a feeling, though, we're going to see something. A robotics? Proxy Robo? Dreamer, unfortunately, moving out with his Zelts and his Dragoons. He's continuing to produce troops to apply the pressure. He's developing range. That range is going to be much, much earlier. But we do have a gateway here at the 6 o'clock location for Sexy. And with Dreamer opting to go ahead and move his troops out and get aggressive, potentially 
this is going to create an opportunity to sneak things through. Nice focus fire with the Zelts getting on top of that initial Dragoon. Unfortunately, Dreamer outnumbered. He's going to have to back off. He's trying to dance his way back across. Two Dragoons making their way. Seeding the low ground. Is Sexy going to continue to, to chase this, though? If he chases it too far, he's going to end up outnumbered again. And now the turnaround fight. The Zelts able to get on top of that Dragoon to the right. The Dragoon's pressing forward, trying to get what they can. And it looks like Sexy ending up with a split attack force. Those Zelts were able to get on top of that Zealot. Or sorry, on top of that Dragoon to do some damage. But he's going to end up losing more troops comparatively. Overall, more units pressing forward. But we have two gateways being plopped here at the six. Five Dragoons to the north, three of them damaged. And actually, it looks like in that overall exchange, Dreamer ended up just about even. So he's opting to be aggressive. But we have this sneaky, sneaky additional gateways to the south. Robotics facility being produced. Maybe if this Robo can get a Reaver out, can even things up. But keep in mind, like I said, fighting uphill. If Dreamer doesn't scout this, if he doesn't get his troops back in position to defend, he's going to just get overrun in a second here. A Reaver could equalize things. But it's a question of will it be out in time? Dragoon attacking his own pylon. <laughs> Another pylon being placed. Because it's uh, boxing him out, it looks like. Dreamer, oh, this is devastating. Grabbing his natural expansion. Maybe with the Reaver he can hold this. But keep in mind, this is going to be four gateways worth of production. And he's going observatory first. Another probe walking its way up. Two more Dragoons being produced. The Dragoons walking their way to the left. They're going to find some... Oh, they might find this attack force. I don't know if it's in time to adjust, unfortunately. So finding it, finding these Dragoons here, but right as Sexy is able to engage from multiple locations, and I think Dreamer's just going to get rolled over here. Too many attack forces. The Reaver's not going to be in time, and oh, this is devastating. Is he going to cancel the Nexus? It looks like he's leaving the Nexus up, trying to regroup to hold the high ground. Picking off something on the corner of the Reaver, or sorry, the Dragoons getting distractions on some attacks on this Nexus. The Nexus looks like it is going to go ahead and complete. But this is just too much production. Two gateways versus four. Dreamer still focus firing and making a fight of it. More reinforcements pouring up though. And it's just too much. A Reaver now in production. The probe's coming off the line to try to provide some defense and attack these dragoons on the low ground looks like a battle probe uh, is it gonna get the kill battle probe is able to take one dragoon down dreamer still actually with the probe lead but he's losing a lot of mining time in the midst of this two kills but still more reinforcements coming in is the reaver gonna finish still pressing forward with these attack probes needs to get mining again though just to be able to to mount a bit of defense and the Nexus actually still stands. The Dragoon's going to the low ground right as the Reaver's here. Are they going to be able to pick this Reaver off before it is able to get some shots off? One shot there. Another Dragoon down. The Reaver getting wiped out. And I don't think this is going to be enough. A shuttle now being produced. Sexy continuing to pour on the pressure. It's three Dragoons. And somehow Dreamer defending this with probes and zealots. He's behind in the overall probe count. But he's holding. And as I say that, two more Dragoons starting to press forward. S Natural Expansion still holding. Production advantage to, to Sexy overall. And I think, is that going to be it? An additional Dragoon now popping out. More probes pulling off the line, down to 17 probes. Probes and Dragoons trying to fight this out. And it looks like it's still happening, but more reinforcements are still pouring forward for Sexy. No second Reaver has been generated so and this is a very weak dragoon that's left and there's gg from dreamer sexy with the sneaky proxy play able to pull this out and dreamer getting eliminated in the round of 32 which is a big surprise considering his previous hasu league successes and that is unfortunate i am sad to see him go my heart was with him i was hoping he was going to have a, a magic miracle pull out here but that is it for group e kiko and sexy pulling it out.
and going to advance. Oof. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.